So I already applied my moisturizer and you guys already know what my moisturizer is. I am always using this Clinique moisturizer. I love it so much. It really hydrates my skin. And but now before I start my makeup, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Prime Primer in Blur Plus Illuminate 200. And I like this primer because it really does illuminate my skin. And so I take about that much and I warm it up with my fingertips and then I just apply it on my skin. I pat it into my skin. I don't rub it anymore because I did learn recently that you're not supposed to rub in your face products. So I just pat them in. I do the same thing with my moisturizer. Then I like to take the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer and I like to take a little dab about that size. So I just take that little bit and pat it into my under eye area and then I go right in with foundation. My favorite foundation at the moment, I actually switch between two and those two are the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and the Wet n Wild foundation and the Maybelline one is this one is really good don't get me wrong but this one is my favorite right now it just I love it so much and I I do switch between both of those because I'm not just gonna waste it you know so some days I'll use the Wet n Wild one some days I'll use this one but I do prefer this one so I'm just going to apply that all over my face and then I'm going to blend it in with a brush and then my beauty blender. So I'm just taking my foundation brush and I am blending it out. I'm not using circular motions. I'm just kind of spreading the foundation out and then if I need any more I just go to my hand and so I like my foundation full coverage so I have no shame in doing two layers of foundation if I need to so I just take whatever foundation I have left on my hand not all of it just whatever I need to cover up any more that's showing through the foundation the first layer and I pat it in I pat in the foundation all over my face just so it really sets into my skin. So then I just take the rest of the foundation that is on my hand and I put it back in the bottle so it doesn't go to waste. So now is when I like to do my eyebrows. So I'm going to fill my eyebrows in really quick. I will have the link to the eyebrow routine video right up here, right about now. And you guys can go check that out if you haven't yet already after watching this video, of course. So now that my eyebrows are done, I like to go right in with concealer. Lately, I've been using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm obsessed with this concealer. It's so good. I'm not even kidding. I love this concealer so much. And then I like to go in with the Cover Stick Concealer in Ivory. This one is from Maybelline as well. And this one I just do three lines, cover up any blemishes I see. I usually do three on both sides right there as well, and then the corners of my mouth, and one on either side of my nose. And then I blend it all in with my beauty blender. So now that I have all my concealer blended out, I need to set it with a loose powder. And the loose powder that I have been using lately is the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder in light and I apply it with my beauty blender and I apply it underneath my eyes everywhere where I set the concealer basically pretty much my entire face but yeah I just let that sit on my face of course I get the powder out of my eyebrows because I don't want yellow eyebrows no 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 now is usually when I go in with my eyeshadow because if I do any eyeshadow that ends up with fallout, I can just swipe it away because the powder is underneath my eyes. Every day I have been using the Ulta Beauty Nude Matte Eyeshadow Primer, and so I just apply this directly onto my eyelids, and I blend it out with my Beauty Blender. I usually like to keep my eyeshadow pretty natural looking when it's just 
one of those days where I'm not trying anything new with my eyeshadow. So my go-to eyeshadow palette has been the BH Cosmetics Modern Neutrals 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. I've used this so many times in my videos and it's just such a great palette. So like I said, I like to keep it very natural and these shades in this palette are very natural and neutral, hence the title of the eyeshadow palette. So I just take, I usually go in with this shade right here or this shade or this one um, as my transition shade. I'm going to take this color today and I'm going to apply that on my lids as my transition shade. So once my transition shade is all blended out, I then like to go in with either these two shades, usually this one, and I define my crease with that. Now once that is all blended out, I then like to go in with an even darker brown and I like to line the top of my lashes to kind of create the effect of brown eyeliner. So I usually like to go in with this brown or this one, whichever I feel like. And I take a flat brush like so and I just go in and I line right above my eyelashes. And literally, I've been doing this every day. I'm not even kidding. And then I kind of smudge it out so it's not too defined. And then I kind of like to flick it out into the eyeshadow in the outer corners of my eye. And then I go back in with my blending brush and I just blend out the outer corner. So now that my eyeshadow is complete, I still have my lower lash line to do, but first I'm going to dust off all of the loose powder. Now I'm going to go in with my lower lash line and I like to use the brown that I used to define my crease. So now I like to go in with bronzer and I have been using the Laura Geller Balance and Bronze in Regular. I use this all the time. You guys have seen it in so many videos and you guys have seen me apply it so many times so I'm just going to skip right through it. So now that my bronzer is all done, well, I'm just going to go right into blush now and every day my go-to blush and highlight palette has been from Ulta. It just looks like this. It came in the little gift set bag that I used in a video. It was my Ulta first impressions video. I used everything that was in that bag, almost everything that was in that bag, and this was one of the things that came in the bag, so if you want to check that out, I will also have that linked right up here. But this blush, it's a matte blush. I love matte blushes so much. And then I use the highlight in this palette because this is such a good highlight, you guys. Like, I use it every day. I've already hit pan on it. And I think it's because I use a couple layers. Because I like to glow, you guys. I really do. So I highlighted my cheekbones the tip of my nose, down the center of my nose, my cupid's bow, and now I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. And I do like to bring it up on my lid a little bit, just because I didn't put any eyeshadow on the center of my lid. So this will kind of balance out the outer corners. And then I like to go in with my blending brush and just kind of blend that out. And then I'm also going to take the highlight and apply that on my brow bones. So now all I have to do is eyeliner, mascara, and lips. 
So for eyeliner, I like to line my tight line and that's it. Just to make my eyelashes look fuller. So I'm taking the NYC, <laughs> look how tiny this pencil is. Um, I think it's the NYC City Proof 24 hour waterproof eyeliner pencil in black. Did I get that whole title right? Like just memorizing it? I love this eyeliner. That's why it's like almost gone. I'm going to use every part of this pencil until it runs out completely. Then I'm going to go buy another one because I don't even want to try any more eyeliner pencils. Unless you guys have one in mind that is really good and like really black, then you can tell me maybe I'll try it out. But as of right now, this is the best eyeliner pencil that I've used in a long time. So for mascara, I like to switch between the Clinique Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara, which is a really good mascara, and the Estee Lauder um, Sumptuous Extreme. The words rubbed off, so I had to kind of think of what it was called. Yeah, I love both of these mascaras, and one day I'll just use this one, one day I'll use this one. It just depends, and I'm, today I'm just feeling this one a little more. Because I've used this one in videos before, I don't think I've used this one in videos before, so I'm going to show you guys how well this mascara works without curling my lashes. So this is with just one coat. I did it on this eye, and there's nothing on this eye. And I'm going to go back in with a second coat to show you guys the final look. So now this eye has two coats, and this eye has one coat. I mean, come on now. Look at that. It's amazing. So now all I have left to do is lips and basically every day I have been using the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Echo Park. This is such a comfortable lip, you guys. It's amazing. My friend Siobhan got me for this, got this for me for my birthday and oh, it's just so nice and they're not expensive either i looked at the prices they're not expensive so if you guys want these they're definitely worth it and it's a satin lip so it's very comfortable it doesn't dry and get crumbly like a matte lip my eyes always get watery when I apply a lipstick. I don't know why. So, that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It's very natural, very pretty, very wearable for every day. So, that is why I wear it almost every single day. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already. Don't forget to leave a comment down below telling me what kind of video you'd like to see in the future. And I have an exciting challenge for you guys. If we get to 500 subscribers, I will give you guys a swimsuit collection try-on video. So I will try on all my swimsuits for you guys, and not all of them are one pieces. I only have like two or three one pieces and I have some bikinis which I'm super excited about to wear this summer because they're like my first bikinis and I finally have gotten confident with my body to where I can wear them and so yeah so if we get to 500 subscribers I'll give you guys that video so yeah with that being said I will see you guys in the next one bye I don't know what I'm doing just slid right through. Look, I went.